another day, another story about this Ray movie not happening. Hey everyone, Digital Charcuterie, I'm James. Thanks for stopping by. Last week, Monday, Flying Casual live stream every Monday, Rebel Scum Podcast channel. Go over there, check it out. Tonight we're back. We talked the Ray movie. That there was a rumor that it was being on hold, that it was in fact delay, and now coming from Daniel RPK over online, speculation is uh, that it is on hold, at least for the time being, on hold for the time being, and uh, this is at the surprise, or comes to the surprise, I should say, of absolutely nobody, I guess. I mean, look, this thing was very exciting when they announced it for some people, for some people it was just like, why let it die? And right now, I think Star Wars, Disney, I know people are like, don't call it Disney, it's Lucasfilm, but I think it's Disney. I think it's the top dogs are very nervous about Star Wars. They had a failure of the Acolyte, Andor not doing well. After The Last Jedi, things were, were, a, little, were a little muddy. Even though Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker mo- uh, performed over a billion dollars at the box office, Solo was a flop. It's still, I mean, look, the money it made was actually okay. It's just it cost a boatload of money to make the damn thing. So ultimately, it was a bust. Which sucks, but we are where we are right now. And so is the Ray movie going to happen? And I'm almost sick of talking about it because I'm sick of them also announcing things. I think the Ray movie will happen. We're going to get a Ray movie. I don't know if it'll be a Ray centric movie or a movie with Ray. But the thing is, Star Wars at some point, at some point, even though the Mandoverse is working very well, I know you could argue season three, you know, you might not like the Mando and Boba Fett, what, what, what not here, Boba Fett. And whatnot, but it's kind of working, and Disney can see that it's working, and it's selling merchandise and selling shirts, and, and people are subscribed to Disney, and they look forward to the Mandalorian, and they're banking on it in the in the movies, and that's where things get a little muddy to me. Is they're banking on that Mando and Grogu in the movies, and so does that mean they're going to? And then with the acolyte failing, and you know, you see the fan reaction online, social media, and Disney's very reactive. Scotty Hawk said it last week on the live stream. You know, Disney Lucasfilm seems very reactive with everything they do. Sticking with the Mandoverse seems like a smart move, but eventually, even that has to end, and we know where it's going. Unless, of course, which we'll be doing a lot of videos on this channel about that, unless they're leading us in a different direction from the sequels entirely and kind of taking an L instead of a, a, an L. Hmm, there's a I think they already have <laughs> taking a left instead of a right, where the sequels are right and they're going left. So, we don't know, but Daisy Ridley, uh was interviewed by Premier Magazine, so I'd like to bring that to the stage here, Disney Magazine. Look at that. Look, some hand motion going on. All right. Um, this is with Premier. A few days ago, Daisy really left Duville Festival with New Hollywood Prize, a perfect opportunity to spend a few minutes with her and, and asked her about the stars. On May 20th, 2026, Star Wars will return to theaters with Star Wars New Jedi Order. Okay, well, I'm just reading this for the first time. So, directed by Pakistani Sharmin Obeid Chinoy, whose work we notably saw in season one of Miss Marvel. Daisy Ridley will reprise the role of Rey, which she played in episode seven, eight, and nine of the saga. The story about which we know little will take place approximately 15 years after the rise of Skywalker, and Rey will reform the Jedi Order. During her visit to Duville Festival, we met the actress who told us more about her big return to the franchise. Your return to Star Wars will be very different from your arrival. By the time Episode 7 came out, the franchise had been dormant in theater for decades, while New Jedi Order will arrive in a world where Star Wars is absolutely everywhere. Me thinking on the subject is very simple. If I don't think the story was worth telling, I wouldn't come back. That's a good answer. But you had the choice to refuse? Yes, of course. (laughs) She, I mean, I think she only signed for three movies, right? There's no contract that would force you to come back. No, I was simply asked if I wanted to do it based on an idea without the script being written yet. But if I hadn't been convinced by the concept, the film wouldn't have seen the light of day. I took the time to think about it for a day, and I said to myself that I had a great time on these films. This new adventure seemed fun to me. Why say no? Also, there was a strange coincidence. Two people told me in the same week that they would love to know what Ray was doing now. I had no idea that there was an interest. People like, people really like Ray. I think this new film will be exciting and will advance the franchise in an interesting way. And there's Ray with her, with her uh, training. 
because she's not a Mary Sue. See, this was there. <laughs> There's always many, like I love this scene, to be honest. And I wasn't someone that was on the Mary Sue train, but you know, you know what they were doing here. It just makes me laugh. Uh, did you ever wonder yourself what happened to Ray? What happened to her after the rise of Skywalker? I didn't care until I was asked. I felt like the story had wrapped up really nicely. So Ray's return had to be worthwhile. And I think it is. I'm also in a very different position. I was 20. I was 21 when I did the first one. I'm 32 now. And so I have a lot more experience on set. It's very exciting to imagine how my current life will affect the character. Do you think it's going to be easier than it was back then to handle the attention that comes with a role like that? What was overwhelming for me was that day... Star oh, is this the answer? I think it was. What was overwhelming for me was the day that Star Wars 7 premiered. People didn't think Rey was going to be a big character. I remember my mom saying, they must have thought you were good because they spent a lot of money on this movie. A lot. Laughs. It's very strange to go from photographs on the red carpet to watching the movie and then just going to the bathroom and having people say, oh my God, that's you. Suddenly I was recognized in public life outside of my job. That's not necessarily easy to take in. Also, I had never traveled. Here I was all over the world and I had an unusual interactions with people. For example, I didn't know what a press junket, a series of interviews that lasts for four hours and usually takes place in a hotel, was. I was discovering everything. And then time passes and things cal calm down. I have some perspective on all of this now. I know how it works, so I will def it will definitely be easier to manage. Uh, the, to, the way some fans have received Ray has been very violent. Did you feel that? There's a whew, loaded gun. No, no, no. I know that some people have expressed themselves negatively, but I don't pay attention to it because it doesn't really concern me. I can't imagine the way some men see women. Unfortunately, that's how society works. And then overall... I've been very well received. I've made the choice to focus on the positive. Amazing. And that's that looks like the end of uh, you can leave a comment right there. So that's the end of that. Look, she's freaking, you know, she says she's matured and whatnot. And she has definitely matured. She's 11, 12 years older now and knows how to handle Disney should Lucasfilm should hire her for all the PR because those were excellent questions. So she look, they're saying May 20th this is coming out, but I think that's the Amando and Grogu movie. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Someone's got to let me know if I'm wrong. Where I'm standing on this, I find it weird that there's still no script, that she hasn't seen a script. She's still not talking about a script. It's still this idea. And now Daniel RPK is, or P, I, I is saying that it's on hold and that Stephen Knight has been struggling for over a year to develop this script. There's a lot of issues at hand. They don't know what direction to take it in. I don't understand how they don't. What they need to do is find out the villain and find, or the car, the, the antagonist or antagonistal aspects of this movie and then go from there, I guess. But they are having a hard time with it. Is it going to happen? And I don't think it's going to hit the May 20th release date unless they start shooting like immediately. There were rumors that it was going to start in September, like, like now, like it was going to start now. Not even close, not even close. They probably won't even get started until next summer, which is when they're shooting Ahsoka season two. They're already starting the Mando and Grogu movie. I don't see how that's not the May release, but here we are. Apparently, a year and a half away from the Ray movie that's not even <laughs> that doesn't even have a script, but they have an idea that they may or may not be sticking with. I don't know. My thoughts on it, however, are it's dumb not to do it. It's dumb to spend a lot of money on it, make it small, make it short, make it a nice, tight, intimate story, something very accessible for fans, and do what you did with the Force Awakens. Don't I'm not saying do a shot for shot, don't do a remake of a New Hope. But bring it back to what Star Wars loves, even if it's prequel era now, because the prequel kids are older now. So bring it back to what people love about Star Wars and just focus on the Star Wars of it all. Tell one story, one story where Rey is either the protagonist or, or a side character or a, or a supporting role in it. Focus on that. Make that a very strong movie with all the elements that make you feel like you are watching a Star Wars movie. Once you get that, then you can make your sequel. And then you can do your Empire Strikes Back and you sh can shake it up a little bit. Maybe not to The Last Jedi. Maybe wait for the third one to do that. Maybe get everybody all the way in and then subvert expectations or don't subvert them at all or don't subvert them at all. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. What do you guys think? Is the Ray movie happening? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe or may the force of others be with you. Whatever one. Just choose one.